As they pull down their, their mouse coverings, and here we go, Braxton Cox to inbound it to Austin Cox. 1-3-1 uh, zone opened up here by the, the Lady Trojans uh, as the Northern Valley will have to work it around here. Here's Baird. Baird's going to face up, and she's going to go against Graham, going to try and skip pass over to Cox. Cox does not control it. Turnover Huskies, something that the Huskies have battled a lot this season is the turnover. I know I talked with Coach Jody Cox about trying to control the board, trying to get the girls to just kind of settle down a little bit and maybe not let the nerves take over so much and try to control the ball. Here's Ryder. Nobody's going to get in her way. She's going to be able to go all the way in. Nice pass in here to Braun. Outside back to Ryder. Ryder's going to look inside. Here's a, here's a senior Braun to churn and try and score right over Blecka. Blecka has nothing to do but foul her, and she'll go right to the line. Chloe Braun, the 5'8 senior. Well, the lone senior, I think, out here going to start here tonight. That's right, the lone senior. Uh, Northern Valley has a senior, Jaden Spear. I'm sure she'll be in here pretty quick. But uh, the Trojans' senior leader, 5'8", Chloe Braun to the line. And she misses the first one, but that foul's going to go on Blackhead. It'll be her first, team first on the Huskies. As Chloe stop, steps in to eye her second attempt, the left-hander's going to uh, have a high arcing shot. Just going to be a little long. Controlled there by Andromeda Hauserman. Over to Cox. Cox to, into the middle to Austin Cox. Goes around Braun, around Ryder, kicks to Hauserman for the wide open shot. Just a little long board controlled by Ryder. And she'll push. She's going to go all the way to the rim, look for somebody, and she finds him. Number two with a nice jump shot off the glass and in. Kristen Marcotte, nice play by the 5'6 junior right there. Nice shot by her. Kristen Marcotte, number two with a bucket. Hauserman gets caught in the corner. Bad pass picked off by Ryder, and she's going the other way. Ryder's going to try and get up, but she's going to be fouled by Braxton Cox. Thought she was a little bit straight up and down, but she kind of got caught. Good play there by Sydney Ryder. She's going to go to the foul line to try and extend the Logan Trojan lead here. That's the second foul on the Huskies in the quarter. As Sydney Ryder, the freshman, 5'2 freshman, going to step to the line here. First one is up and good for Sydney. Second free throw attempt is going to be just short. Controlled by Braun on the offensive rebound. Going to kick to, to Ryder. She's going to reset the offense over to Marcotte. Marcotte closely guarded by Hausman. Inside to Braun. Going to go around Blecka. She's going to get a second foul. And Braun's going to go right back to the free throw line. Uh, good, good force there by the Logan Trojans. The Logan Palco Trojans is going to force the issue, push that ball inside to see what happens to their senior leader, uh, Chloe Braun, as she's going to go in there. The, that foul is going to be uh, the third team foul by the Huskies. Is the Klein roll gets there by towards the Northern Valley Huskies in academics and athletics. Right back into action here is Braun going with her second attempt. No good, but rebound by Delmont. She's going to try and put it up. Ball's going to be knocked out of there by looks like Austin Cox. And the ball is, is going to be controlled by the Trojans. Trojans are going to put inbound here. Northern Valley is going to stay in a man-to-man. -man. Over to Graham, to Maricott. Swing to Ryder. Ryder over here. Stolen by Cox. It's going to stay here. She was there in the line. She jumped in front of Delmont. Sorry about that. No cough button here. I tried to move. Here's Braun. Braun working on Blecka. Trying to get it into Graham. Graham's going to churn face. Blocked by Baird, but the rebound by Marcotte. And we got a foul. We're going to shoot two free throws. Looks like the foul could go on Vesteca. She and uh, um, Kristen Marcotte were just battling for that rebound. Marcotte comes away with it and gets the ball up on the rim. She'll go right back to the line. Logan, Logan Palco, Lady Trojans are living at the free throw line here early in the first quarter. We're just a minute and a half in as uh, – it's 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 a tight one here. Logan up four nothing here as Northern Valley is trying to control the defensive rebounds. Second one up, no good. And Mary Baird will control this one over to Austin Cox. As looks like uh, um, Logan Trojans are going to be in a in a zone defense jumper there by Cox, blocked by Braun. 
Fought four and one, coming out of here by Braun again. Braun up the sideline to Maricott. Maricott, nobody's guarding. There's Vesteca to jump in front of her. Swing out here to Delmont. Delmont up to Ryder, kind of lets it go through her hands. Matched up here by Braxton Cox. She goes around Braxton Cox. The little floater's going to come up short and going to be over. No, it's going to stay here. Northern Valley's going to have to play defense here as, as uh, Andromeda uh, Hauserman comes in for Vesteca, and so is Jaden Spear going to come in for uh, Riley Blecka. Northern Valley tries to rematch up into the man-to-man -man defense as Ryder's going to swing it over here. Now inside to Braun. Braun's going to go up with the left hand. She's going to miss it. And the rebound great in there by uh, Graham just to keep that thing alive. Northern Valley's got to do a better job on the boards. This is Hauserman controls on this one. Inside to Baird. Baird will turn, shoot, blocked by Graham. Good play in there by her in the active hands, and Delmont pushes down the sideline. Northern Valley has now fell into a 2-3 zone. And uh, as Logan tries to swing it around and get set up here, is, is uh, Sydney Ryder will set the offense in the play. And here we go. Delmont to Maricot, inside to Braun. Off somebody's foot, must have gone off Chloe's foot. And we're going to be turned over here to the Northern Valley Huskies as Bleck is coming in now for Baird. The Trojans showing a little bit of pressure here. Northern Valley quickly breaks it. Falls into the zone as Spears looking at it. Skip pass to Braxton. Swing quickly over to Blecka. Blecka with a shot up a little long. Controlled in there by Graham. Graham is making her presence known in there. Uh, but this one's going to be tied up. It's going to stay with Logan Ball. But good play in there by Blecka trying to get her active hands in there and, and making something happen. Into the game, Mara Katz, a big player in the junior varsity game earlier here tonight. She gets her first action here in the varsity game as Graham goes ahead and sits down. Ryder inside to Katz. Katz going to get called for the travel here. Um, she took a dribble and, and, and went to pass it. They call her for the, the travel turnover for the Lady Trojans. Cox is inbounded to Hauserman. Hauserman down the sideline to her sister Aurora. Aurora inside to Spear. Jaden Spear looking for Blecka over to Cox. Cox toes on the line, lets it fly, knocks down the long two ball, two up and in for Austin Cox. Here's Ryder. Ryder surveying, trying to get it inside here. They're trying to get it into Chloe Braun. It's been a great place to be. She's making things happen inside. Here's Maricott. They're just trying to, there it is. Braun's going to have an open opportunity. She's going to leave it short. Rebound in there by Cox. She's fought with by uh, Maricott. Jump ball going to go to the Huskies on that one. As Kenzie Wells is going to step into the game as Ansley Delmont goes ahead and sits down. Excuse me, that was Riley Delmont. I was wrong on that. The other sisters played in the JV game here. Hauserman to Cox. Cox surveying here. Over to Hauserman in the corner. Swings to her sister Hauserman. Stolen out of there by Ryder. She left it right in front of her, and Sydney Ryder took it. Maricott's now got an open opportunity. Swing over here. Chloe Braun for three. Chloe Braun nails the three. She has been in control of this game since the start of it, and she's making it happen now. Over to Spear. Spear to Hauserman. Hauserman over to Austin Cox. Into the corner. Here's Hauserman going to do another long jumper. Here's going to be just long. Fought for nothing. It's going to go off of the Huskies, and Logan will control. End of the game, Tania Spear and uh, Mary Baird as Blecka and Hauserman take a seat. Andy ha or Androra and <laughs> there's twin sisters. I get them, I get them switched up there. But Andromeda, she's still in the game here. Aurora's on the bench as Northern Valley's in this 2-3 defense here. 
Ryder into Katz. Katz tries to dribble through the defense. It's going to be tied up in there. The ball's going to stay here with the truck. No, he's going to award a timeout. And replace when necessary. Call All-American Glass in Long Island, Kansas at 785-854-7625 or toll free at 866-312-2257. Back right into basketball as Logan Trojans take it out. Pump fake there by Braun in the corner. She'll take it to the rim, and she will up and score with the left hand. Uh, Chloe Braun uh, playing extremely well here so far here tonight. Spear trying to go to her sister, a little aggressive on the pass. It's going to go up and over her head and out of bounds as Tania Spear uh, trying to press just a little too much. Northern Valley's got to find out where Miss Chloe Braun is. She's fire. She's on fire right now. She had the pump fake action on that last one. We'll see if the Lady Trojans work it around to her once again. Here's Wells over to Ryder. Ryder to Maricott. They're working it against this zone, driving in, kicking out. Stolen over there by Hauserman. That's Andromeda to Hauserman, and she's going to get the blocking foul on on uh, on on Wells. Wells thought she had a charge drawn there. Miss Kenzie Wells trying to man up right in front of her is going to grab the foul. Uh, two more substitutes in here. Both Delmont ladies come in uh, as Rayleigh and um, Ansley both come in here as Northern Valley crosses the timeline with Vesteca. Vesteca with the turnover on the bounce. Got a little high, got a little carry called into there as uh, Northern Valley falls back into their zone defense. Logan up nine, Logan Palco up 9-2 over Northern Valley here in this first quarter. 145 left to go in this first. Logan's doing a great job of being patient. That's what I'm seeing. They're not shooting terrible shots. And then there's one by Wells. She's going to be, uh, has the air ball there, controlled by Cox to Vesteca. Vesteca in the corner, wide open three for Spear. She knocks it down to Nia Spear for three. That'll help Northern Valley's offense here. They need a defensive stop. Here's Delmont. Delmont in the corner to Braun. Braun's going to just go to the rim over to Delmont again. Up and over. Graham with the rebound. Just going right over the top of people on a box out. Going to get the score. Good play by Graham. Tania Spear says, I can do it again. Actually works pretty well because Jaden Spear with the rebound here. Ball's going to be stolen out of there. And Graham controls. Uh, just under a minute to go here. Uh, Jaden Spear on the floor after the ball. It's going to be stolen out of there by Vesteca. Vesteca's trying to get a hold of it. Ripped out by Chloe Braun. Who's the ball going to go to? They're going to call the foul on Shaley Vesteca on the reach in. He could have called it either way. This one goes on Vesteca. Vesteca is going to go to the bench with her second of the game. That's the Huskies' fifth foul on the half as Northern Valley, Northern Valley to run here. Here's Delmont to key it over to Braun. Braun going to eye another three. She's going to nail another three. Chloe Braun with an extremely hot first quarter here, leading the Lady Trojans. Here's Cox trying to find Spear. Spears called for the travel. Trying to keep my mouth quiet, I guess. Um, here's Logan going to bring back the other way. Inside to Graham. They go right at it. Blocked in there by Spear. Here comes Braxton Cox. Braxton tries to get the ball over to Austin. It's a little high on the pass. Going to be a turnover in Northern Valley. Uh, Coach Cox cannot be happy about this. Northern Valley's just got a lot of turnovers here in the first quarter. Needs to settle down and run a little offense. Looks like 13 seconds left to go in the first quarter. And Logan, see if they can get a good shot off of here. Trying to swing it into the corner is what I do to Braun. Over to Ansley. Ansley's looking uh, to Wells. Wells is going to get away with a double dribble there to Delmont. Chloe in the corner. She's going to miss it. Rebound. Cox will go to the second quarter. Logan Palco, Lady Trojans up 14-5. As we start our second quarter, the Lady Trojans were uh, pretty efficient there towards the end of the quarter on the on the offensive end, trying to move the ball around and find Chloe Braun was a good offense. Here's Maricott with a long shot, rebounded by Braxton Cox. She's looking to push up to Mary Baird. Mary Baird's going to go all the way to the rim. Foul there by – she's going to be fouled there by Delmont as she 
took the ball strong. Great rebound and outlet pass there by Braxton to make things happen. Trying to push, trying to push the tempo here in Northern Valley and get a couple easy buckets out on the out on the wing. Um, Rayleigh Delmont, uh, that'll be her first personal foul, second team foul on the Trojans on the night. Barrett a little off to the right there on her free throw attempt. Second attempt is up and also no good, but rebound by Jaden Spear. Jaden Spear going to kick it to Austin. Austin's going to go up, and she's going to get the foul call. She's going to go to the line. Austin Cox drawing the foul, just going up through traffic. The foul's going to go on... Number two, Marcotte, her first, team third, as Austin goes back to the free throw line. She knocks that one in. Austin with three in the game. I in the second one here. Second one is up and also straight through the rim for Austin Cox. Northern Valley cuts it to cuts that lead to seven to four or fourteen to seven as we get started here. Thirty seconds into the second quarter, Braxton Cox active hands here against Maricott, and here's Ryder to set the offense. As Northern Valley's come out into a a one two two wide spreading defense and, and trying to keep active hands here. Over to Braun, got to stay up, got to find her into into Graham. The foul's going to go against Spear. She was going for the steal, kind of got, uh, when she came back down, she kind of landed on Graham there. And uh, um, Abigail Graham, the six-foot junior, has, has been in control there a lot. Here's Marcotte. I don't know if it's a two or a three. It's a two, but a nice shot there by Kristen Marcotte. Her second bucket of the game I got unofficially. Whitney's going to go here over to Spear. Spear back to Whitney. Over to Cox. She's looking inside to Jaden Spear. She's going to turn and try to shoot it over Braun, and Braun knocks it out of there with a nice block controlled here by the Lady Trojans. As they try and shove it inside to Graham. It's going to be picked off and controlled by Austin Cox. As that ball is... She's not going to get a foul call. It's going to be a turnover. And he's not going to call the violation on the inbounds because he screwed the last one up. Here's Cox. Cox is going to be wasteful with that one, and, and Marcotte's going to have the wide open layup. Good defense by Braxton Cox to come away with that. Here's Marcotte. Nobody's guarding her. She just made one. Here's Ryder's going to eye a three, going to get it up there. Marcotte's going to have a rebound put back up and in. Kristen Marcotte. With another bucket, I've got her at six now. As the Huskies turn it over again, Whitney and Cox could not connect on that one. Good thing Delmont helps them out and turns it right back. That was uh, just Rayleigh Delmont was trying to make a pass across court and it just slips through her hands. As uh, Coach Cox not happy with the turnovers. Brand new five come in for Northern Valley. Also two new ones coming in here for Logan. Uh, looks like Cats and Wells for Logan going to come in. Uh, Tania Spear, Shaley Visteca, uh, 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 Hauserman, Blecka, and Hauserman all come in for Northern Valley on their hockey line shift. Ball back in, stolen in there by Braun. Braun with her left hand is going to not get it up on the rim. Uh, Spear with her quickness gets back into the action, knocks it away from her before she can get the ball up. But Logan will control underneath. Logan Palco inside to, to Katz. They're going to swing it all the way around here. Delmont right inside to Braun, turns with the left shoulder over to Marcotte. The, the Logan the Logan Palco Trojans, they might have missed that one, but, man, they're playing with some confidence now, moving the ball, sharing it as a team. Shot over by Hauserman. is going to be out of bounds off the backboard and back over to the Trojans. 20-7, Logan Palco over Northern Valley, 540 left to go here in the half as uh, – uh, Delmont's going to eye another jumper here and miss. Controlled by Hauserman. Aurora is going to bring it up the sideline. Foul call on, on Kristen Marcotte. Reaching in there, trying to be aggressive. She's going to get that whistle every time out there in the open court. And she knows it. And she's upset with it. That's her second. And Coach 
Coach Waters is going to say, you come over here and sit by me as, as uh, Delmont comes in for her. And she's a little frustrated she came up with that one. Hauserman's going to fire the elbow jumper in good. And drama to Hauser going to drop that one in uh, for two points for the Huskies. Wells into the corner to Braun. Braun going baseline. She's going baseline. She's going baseline. That's what she does. And she's going to get the bailed out here with a foul call. Andromeda um, uh, does not get in position, gets called for the blocking foul. Number seven on the Huskies. Not first one for Andromeda on, on the night, but Braun to the free throw line. Up and in. Chloe Braun, the 5'8 senior, doing what seniors do, leading their teams. Second one up. Misses, controlled there by Vesteca, but Braun's not giving up on the play. She's going to drop back now as, as Wells will take over and, and, and mark the ball. Vesteca trying to control over here to Spear. They got a little weave going on here. Spear across court, looking in the middle to Blecka. Blecka grabs, turns, shoots, scores. Ray Lee Blecka with a nice play there. Northern Valley's getting some opportunities at that high post area. Need to capitalize that moving in here. Tough play in here. Mara, Mara Katz grabs great position, hustles down the court, pins Blecka beneath her. Turns after grabbing the pass, and Turns goes right to the rim. And, and Mara, Katz, Mara Katz will go to the line to shoot two. Uh, Feel for Blecka there, 5-4, matching up there against Katz. Katz coming in at 5-11, always played big. She'll knock down this free throw here, uh, shooting two. Um, she knows what to do with a smaller girl on her back, turn and go. This looks like uh, Delmont and Delmont to sit, uh, Ryder and... Second one is up and good by Katz. Number 22, Madeline Towns, a 5'3 senior now into the game. Vesteca over to Spear, passes wide, going to go out of bounds. Over to now the, the Trojans to control. Northern Valley still kind of in this game here, 11 or 23-11. Logan Palco up as uh, starting to get a little offensive here movement. But uh, right there is the problem. Mara Katz turns, faces. I don't know how he calls a travel. She just pivoted, but that'll work. Uh, and it's a defense for Northern Valley, um, and and Northern Valley will control. Hauserman down the sideline quickly, looking to reverse the balls. Vesteca, Vesteca over to Hauserman. She thought about a three over to Spear. Tania Spear with a bad pass off of Hauserman's foot. Fought in there. Towns is going to be attacked by three Northern Valley players. I don't know who he's going to give the foul call to as Towns was trying to get in there and get into a layup situation. She will have an opportunity to a free throw here as the Huskies have 18 fouls now. She'll have a one-on-one -on -one opportunity. That foul is going to go on Tania Spear, her first, and uh, Austin Cox back into the game for Tania Spear. Uh, Mary Baird in for Andromeda Hauserman. Looks like Katz and Braun to sit as um, Graham and Merriman Towns uh, in the game here as well. Both Towns girls. Here's Madeline Towns with the free throw attempt. This one is no good, but controlled by Merriam Towns. Fought for in there by Blecka, and she pulls it out of there. He's going to call a jump ball. Jump ball will be controlled and give it over to the Huskies as they need to get some work going here. It's 4.15 4 to go here in the half. Cox into Cox in the middle, over to Baird. Baird's going to eye a shot. Going to call another travel here. Here's Wells going to control it and bring it up into the front court here to Ryder. Ryder into the corner. Towns left wide open. She's going to shoot it. She's going to nail it. Merriman Towns, the sophomore, 5-2. She steps up, and nobody going to guard her. She's going to make it. Vesteca says the same thing. She's going to get one off here. Rebound fought for. Tried to save there by Cox. The ball's going to go out of bounds. Going to go out of bounds to who? They won't say. Northern Valley's going to control the ball. Officials would like to have a, 
a signal here so I know what's going on here. Baird's going to get an easy bucket there. Nice pass by Vesteca. The Mary Baird's going to control the board. As she's on the board with her first two bites of the game. Towns looking inside here, going to go to Ryder. Nobody's going to mark Ryder, but she's not going to shoot at Towns. Towns looking inside to Graham. Graham's going to make a move over to Towns. Towns up and in. She's hot. Merriman Towns with their second bucket here in a row. For the Trojans, Mary Baird's going to get it and go up with it. She's going to get a foul. I think that one's going to go on Sydney Ryder. She looked guilty as she uh, tried to go for the block there on Mary Baird. Yep, Sydney's going to go ahead and get the foul on that one. That's Sid's first on the her, on the game, fifth for the Trojans as Mary Baird steps in line to shoot two. She misses the first one just off the side iron. Second attempt coming for Miss Mary Baird. Is Jody as pissed as I think? She should be. And up and in by Mary Baird. She capitalizes on the second one. We had subs at the table going to come in here. Looks like Jaden Spear, uh, Chloe Braun, and Mercy, Michaela Mercy, a 5'5 freshman in for, the, uh, for the, the Trojans for the first time here tonight. Ryder, pull-up jumper, going to miss. Fight for a rebound, one by Towns. Over to Wells. Wells is going to fire it up. Misses, rebound there by Cox. Cox over to Spear. Spear controls into the corner. As Northern Valley is trying to get something going here, here's Jaden Spear. Jaden to Austin Cox. Austin looking, looking. Played in there by Towns. Great play. One by Cox as she's trying to get the ball away. It's going to be jump ball, held ball. Uh, Northern Valley will lose possession. Logan will control. Uh, one thing about this. One, two, three, four, five, I think. Maybe six. I think Logan's gone 11 deep so far. Northern Valley's gone 10 deep so far. A lot of action here by a lot of different players. Some young players out on the floor for both. Here's Braun. Braun to kick to Wells. Wells with toes on the line. She's going to miss everything, and it's going to go out of bounds. Northern Valley will to control. Towns had a wide open shot there. She was knocking them down in the junior varsity game. This time she just comes up a little short. As uh, Logan comes out at almost like a three-quarter court here, going to show a little pressure, see how the Huskies handle it. Here's Braxton Cox. Pass, 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 back over here to Mary Baird. Mary to Braxton as, as they set the offense. Logan falls into a zone defense here. Austin Cox goes to the rim, throws up a wild shot, controlled by Baird. Baird to Cox. Cox over there. She'll fire a three. It's going to be just short. As Spears going to go after the rebound, be out of bounds, it'll be over to the, the Trojans. Both these coaches are working, working their tails off in here, trying to um, get their players to do what they want. Looks like um, Rayleigh Delmont back into the game and, and uh, Kristen Marcotte for the Trojans. She's got six unofficially here. She comes back into the game. Um, as Ryder will control to Marcotte. Looking inside, wide open, shot up and missed. Batted in there by Delmont. Good looking play. Just happened to go right to Austin Cox as, as Northern Valley is trying to break the press here and does. Here's Cox to, to move it to the side to Spear. Spear will fire another three. Just long, controlled in the rebound by Cox. She's going to rebound, go right to the rim, but kick it out to Braxton Cox. Tania trying to squeeze that ball in there as it's getting dug ugly as Tania fights for it and comes out of there to Spear. Braxton Cox says, hey, let's look at it. Let's settle down here, see what we can do. Tania Spear with a nice jump shot in here. She controls her own rebound, quick release, and no good. Uh, Sydney Ryder going after that, and she will be fouled by Tania Spear. Sydney Ryder will go to the line as we come under a minute left to go in the half. Battle's getting a little uh, sloppy on both ends, if you ask me. Uh, both teams need to slow down and start work, working the ball around both sides and see if they can uh, force it inside. When they got offensive possessions to go inside, they've been able to make them here. Sydney Ryder here, she misses this one. 
But uh, tenth foul on the Huskies will give her two opportunities at this free throw. Ryder's second one is off. Delmont with a monster rebound in there. She wasn't going to be denied. As we come under a minute here in this game, Delmont's going to be in the corner. She's going to eye trying to figure out where she's going to go with it. I'd go right there to Braun. That's right. The left-hander goes up. Nice soft shot. Controlled by Spears. She's going to push. As Ryder's going to be out of bounds. That, that, that uh, out of bounds line over there is kind of confusing because it's a long ways away from the wall. Ryder will be out of bounds, controlled by Northern Valley. Northern Valley trying to shove it in here down the sideline. Long bounce pass to Whitney over to Cox. Now Braxton with it at the top of the key. Nobody matches Austin Cox. She's going to fire a three and be long on that one. Controlled, and the foul is going to be in there as, as uh, Braxton Cox was trying to dig on that basketball right there. I think she's going to get the foul. And uh, Michaela Mercy, the freshman, she's going to go to the line. That'll be, I think, the 11th foul on the Huskies here in the first half. I think that's the first one on Cox. They haven't put it up on the board there. But uh, Mercy eyeing this one just a little short on that one. It's the second one on Cox, it looks like. Braxton will sit down here and Andromeda Hauserman to check her right now. So we got Hauser, Hauserman, Whitney. Spear, Baird, and Austin Cox into the game. Um, as Mercy, Mercy nails the second one as Northern Valley works it up the floor. 17 left to go. Jaden Spear left alone on the side, controlled by Hauserman. Hauserman will get a shot up. Baird will get a shot up, and she's going to be fouled. She's going to go to the line as Michaela Mercy looks like she's going to be the victim there on that foul. Or, uh, She's going to be the one that they catch on that one as she got her hands trying to go in there for a block shot on Mary Baird. Grabs her on the right arm, and Mary Baird to shoot another two free throws. One for three, four so far. Make it one for five on the night for Mary. Mary's second one is up and in. Two for six on the night from the free throw line. Can they get a shot off? Well, they never started the clock. There we go. We're going to replay that one from the sideline, I'm guessing. With only 10 seconds left to go, they forgot to start the clock. But here we go. We got 8.91 to go. What is Logan going to do? If I'm them, I'm finding Braun. Braun's been hot from the outside. Ryder's going to have an open opportunity. It's going to be long, controlled by Hauserman with no time left to go in the half. And that will be the halftime score. Logan Palco girls come out with 28 points in the first half. Really impressive on the inside. Chloe Braun, Abigail Graham, and this turnover here is, is Marcotte going to go to the rim. She's going to get hacked pretty hard there by Blecka. That'll be Blecka's third foul. And quickly, uh, Marcotte's going to go right to the line. She had the, those six in the first half. She's going to try and add to that total right here. Blecka's third, uh, team's first going into this half. And uh, Delmont was your other starter there, Rayleigh Delmont. Or Riley Delmont, excuse me. Um, we've got something at the scores table. But they got it cleared away as, as uh, Kristen Marcotte's going to get two free throw opportunities here to see if she can knock these down. And the uh, first one's off to the right just a little bit for Kristen Marcotte. Northern Valley starts the second half just as it ends the first half. Uh, quick turnover and a quick foul. It's, it, if they can't clean some of this stuff up, it's going to be a long, long night for them. Great rebound in there by Delmont. Delmont's going to get called for the travel, though, it looks like. Or a jump ball. Which one are you going to decide? Going to be a jump ball, and uh, Logan will take it out from underneath. Here's Delmont. Delmont to Graham, to Ryder, to Marcotte, all the way over, swinging around into, into uh, Braun, kicks it back out. Man, that is smooth offense as Delmont, Riley, uh, Riley, Del Riley Delmont knocks down the open jumper, and that's all created 
terrible pass in there by Cox, stolen by Braun. That's all created by ball movement. They're just moving the ball around inside to Graham. Graham pivots, turns, shoots, scores in there. Abigail Graham with her second bucket. As Logan's come out here on fire, as they're pressuring on a man-to-man situation right here to the Huskies. As Sydney Ryder's going to get called for the reach-in foul, I think that might be her second or third. Sid's second foul, team's first foul and a half as she gets called for the reach-in foul of Sydney Ryder. Braxton Cox come across the timeline here. Working, trying to get it into Mary Baird. Mary Baird's got Brands on her, or, or Graham on her back, swings it back out to Cox. Cox over to Hauserman. Hauserman to Blecka. Blecka's going to fire the little jumper and be a little short. Rebound, Delmont. Delmont steps on the line. Ball's going to stay here with Northern Valley. She looked down as to say, hmm, did I really? I don't know. She must have <laughs> officials right there on top of it. Northern Valley to push it in, and Austin Cox with a bad pass. Picked off by Marcotte. Swing over to Ryder. Ryder with a little jumper in the lane. No good. Rebound Braun up with a left hand and in. Chloe Braun with another bucket here. And uh, adds to her total. Now she's at 14 on the, on the night. Ball's going to stay with Northern Valley. It looks like Jaden Spears is going to come in, and so is Kenzie Wells. Delmont to sit. Blecka to sit. And uh, Andromeda Hauserman to inbound in the far corner. Cox, Marcotte is just watching her eyes and being all over the floor. That's the third time in a row that she's made a play on the ball as, as Cox is trying to make a long pass. She's got to be a little sharper on those pass. It looks like Mara Katz in the game. Abigail Graham to sit. Ball controlled by Mary Baird looking for somebody here. Here's Braxton. Braxton gets it across to Mary Baird. Mary Baird is hacked by Sydney Ryder. That'll be her third foul on the night. She's a little upset with herself on that one. Uh, as Mary was standing there, she thought the ball was out to get grabbed, and, and uh, Sid's going to get the foul on that one. Third on her, second on the Trojans on the night. Inbounds to Hauserman. Hauserman's going to drag her foot, get away with it. Over to Marcotte, who's in the passing lanes left and right. She's ready to go attack the ball. As Wells matches Cox up here up top. Cox with one dribble. Over to Braxton. Braxton in the quarter to Jaden Spear. Nothing easy right here for the Huskies. Into Bear. Bear gets blocked. Clean block in the world as Marcotte's going to get called for the foul. And Mary Bear to the line. Here's Mary Baird's first attempt. It is missed. as Towns comes in for Ryder for the Trojans. Mary Barrett up and in for the bucket. She will knock down that free throw. Giving her five on the game unofficially. Towns now working against the Northern Valley zone. Here's Marcotte. Marcotte saying, let's set it up. Let's move the offense here. She's going to swing to Wells. Wells in the corner to Katz. Match there by Spear. Fought four and one by Spear over to Braxton Cox. She's looking to push. She's controlled there by Chloe Braun saying, I'll take her. I'll match her at the point. Now I'm going to play some defense, and, and defense she does. She's trying to force her to not get it in there. Mary Baird's going to get called for the crow hop. It's going to be turned over by the Huskies. Uh, and, and the Trojans will take it out from underneath. Sub coming in here, Vesteca in for Braxton Cox. As uh, Braxton will take a seat here, and Vesteca will jump into the top of that zone. Kristen Marcotte over here to Wells, Kenzie Wells. She, she does the same thing. She kind of crow hops around, didn't exactly know what she was going to do, and gets called for the travel as well. Tania Spear now into the game. Austin Cox to the bench. Uh, Delmont, Graham, Towns all in. Marcotte, Braun, Katz to sit down. As Logan is matching in this full court man pressure all the way across 
just trying to get something inbounds. Vesteca gets it barely across to the five-second call into Hauserman. Doubled there into Spear. Spear going to turn and look, going to go back to Hauserman, who's going to have an opportunity to shot, and she knocks it down. Toes on the line, but Andromeda Hauserman drops in the points. That's her second bucket. 34-18, Logan Palco with the lead. Five minutes to go in the third quarter. Towns tries to squeeze it in. It's picked off by Spear. Looks like we're going to have a foul in there. I think that's going to go on Towns. Yeah, Mariam Towns. Yeah, she gets called for the foul. That's her first team fourth in the half as Tania Spear will sit and Stephanie Whitney now into the game. Tania Spear kind of got rolled up on there just a little bit, trying to check her on the bench there, see if she's okay. She's kind of grabbing her knee there. As Vesteca brings it up, over to Whitney. Whitney working on Wells to Vesteca. Up top to Hauserman. Hauserman eyes, throws, saved there by Vesteca. Vesteca's pass gets knocked away by Abigail Graham. Long arms just jumped in there and knocked it away. Huskies will control under the corner. Vesteca trying to get it in. Delmont all over. She just barely avoids the five-second call. And a travel's being called there on Mary Baird for the turnover for the Huskies. She was kind of, she stepped on a foot. She was kind of falling backwards, gets called for the travel as Rayleigh Blecka comes in for her. Let's see, we got Hauserman, Spear, Blecka, Vesteca, and Whitney on the floor for the Huskies. Towns, Towns, Graham, Delmont, and Wells for the Trojans. Towns gonna dribble in, gonna get a shot off here just a little bit out. Oh my goodness, she goes slamming into the wall. Hope she's all right over there. Man, she hit hard. She was trying to do what she could to save that ball. And uh, this one's going to be Hauserman in the corner as uh, Ainsley Delmont says, I want that ball, but the officials are going to say, well, you can't use that kind of aggressive nature on their arm. Going to call her for the foul on the hold on the arm. Goes to goes to Delmont, and, and rightly enough, Towns is going to go to the bench as she went slamming into that wall. Um, she might have bloodied her elbow there. She kind of hit that grate. I don't know when the camera pans on to the other side. They're going to look at it over there. And uh, is that her teeth? Oh, it's part of the wall. Thank goodness. Uh, if you could get a shot over it over there. I, the, Coach Waters went over to the sideline, and he started bending over and picking up stuff. His Towns goes to the bench, and I thought he was picking up teeth, man. That's how hard she hit over there. It's just part of the wall. She knocked over the, the grate, and the wall comes apart, disintegrates there a little bit. Uh, she's being attended to on the bench. I think she's she didn't act like she was hurt that bad, but, you know, I think the wall took the most of that brunt. Uh, as uh, we go back into play here to Whitney. Whitney goes to the rim. She's going to put the ball up, and she's going to go to the line. Two free throws coming for Stephanie. Whitney, that's what you got to do when Logan's over and Logan Palco is overplaying on the man-to-man, -man and you still got your dribble available. You got to get around them, and then you got to make the right play. You got to either come to a jump stop, pull up for a jumper, or go all the way to the rim, and that's what – the decision was for Stephanie Whitney that time. She went all the way to the rim for a layup and was fouled in there. The foul goes against Towns, her first. Uh, Logan Palco second in the second half, or the sixth in the second half as Whitney eyeing her second free throw up. No good, controlled by Delmont. Delmont up, up to the court to Towns. Towns is going to go over to Braun. Braun makes a great play, and it's just all about the hustle. She's mad at herself that she doesn't knock in the easy bucket, but Blecka got her pretty hard from the backside. I think that's Blecka's going to be her fourth on the night. She might have to come sit down now, but Braun just got great positioning. Towns with a nice pass inside and makes that happen. As Chloe knocks down this free throw. As Blecka does take a seat. Rebound by Graham. Graham's going to try and go up with it. She's going to get called for a jump ball.
Jump ball will turn over to the Huskies. Whitney's got it in here. She's going to be going right here against Wells. He's going to call a carry on Whitney. This will turn and give it right back here to the Trojans. As you can kind of see over there on the sideline, there's still Dr. and Towns' his arm over there. Um, looks like they're going to try and get some tape in her and get her going. Uh, be available. Here's Graham inside. Nice little drop to Braun. Braun with the scoop shot up on the reverse layup, and she will go back. She kind of found her uh, found herself in a no man's land, nowhere to go, and uh, she didn't care. She knew she had to put the ball up on the rim or get a travel call, so she flips it over the back of her head. She gets the foul call. She goes right back to the line. Number 22, Andromeda Hauserman picks up the foul, and Chloe Braun knocks down that free throw. Uh, Right now I've got her three for five from the free throw line here tonight. As Andromeda goes to the bench and Austin Cox is now in the game. She's chewing on her mouthpiece, isn't she, Mom? Is that what that is? Braun's second attempt, no good. She'll be three for six from the line right here. Quick foul in there by, Braun, or by Delmont as she was reaching in after the ball. Uh... I don't know who controlled that rebound. Looks like Austin might take the free throws. Or Spear. Both of them want them. Looks like Jaden Spear is going to take them. Jaden Spear to line it up for the one-on-one -on -one opportunity as it's the second foul there on Delmont. Seventh on the team. Spear misses. Battle for the rebound. Mara, Mara Katz and Austin Cox battle for it. Uh, the friends off the court battle here as Austin's going to go to the to the free throw line on this one, see if she can knock down these. So she's got a bonus free throw. One-on-one uh, -on -one opportunity here for Austin. Up and in for Austin. Austin and Mara Katz, their friends off the court, I know for sure. Uh, both farm girls, both work on the farm. Their dad works them pretty hard, I can guarantee it. And they got a lot in common, just as the basketball, they're trying to trying to battle here. But here's here's the Logan Trojan, Logan Palco Trojans trying to work it in here. Katz to Marcotte in the corner. Into Delmont, she's going to go up against Baird, missed. Rebound, rebound Austin Cox, and she's going to push. Wells gets great defense, gets out in front of her and stops the progress by Austin. Great defense there by her. Whitney goes around Marcotte, but the ball gets loose. Ball still loose. Ball still loose, and they're going to get Austin Cox, I believe, with a push. Yep, Austin Cox is going to get the foul there. Not in the double, not in the bonus yet for the Trojans. That's only the fourth foul. First foul on Austin tonight is the Trojans will control here underneath. Here's Delmont to Marcotte. Trojans still trying to work that high post area against this zone defense by the by Northern Valley. Delmont's going to fire from the outside. No good. Rebound Wells is going to get an opportunity. She misses. Rebound Jaden Spear. Controlled by Braxton. Now over to Shaley Vesteca. As Coach Cox, I think, here's Vesteca straight to the rim. And I, uh, good kick out there, but Braxton couldn't get the opportunity. She dribbles in, fires a jumper. Controlled there in the rebound by Mara Katz. To Marcotte, long pass all the way over to Delmont. Three-quarters court across the court diagonally. She gets away with that one as Delmont will control here into Katz. Katz up and over into Baird. Scored a bucket. Great play, Mara Katz. If I had my replay button, I'd hit it here. If I could find it, I would use it. But uh, great play there by uh, Mara as uh, she received that entry pass by Delmont. Went right over Baird for the hoop and the harm. Baird's second free throw. Mara Katz going to line it up, see if she can make the three-point play, and she does. Thirty-nine, nineteen. Logan Palco over Northern Valley right here as Vesteca works on Delmont. Over to Baird, inside to Jaden Spears. She turns, she shoots, scores right over Marcotte. 
And good, good play there by Jaden Spear with the left hand. I can hear Coach Waters saying, let's get the ball down low, get the ball down low, get the ball down low, because I think, I think that's what he wants to do in the long term here. Uh, he knows he can kind of get some of these outside shots with the zone. He's really trying to push the ball inside. Mara with a good move there, splits a double team, just goes off the rim as Austin Cox going to the rim herself. She will turn, find Vesteca. Vesteca over to Braxton Cox into the corner. <laughs> Fast hands by my uh, excuse me by Kristen Marcotte. Uh, I wish I had deflections because she's got a lot of them. Uh, Coach Waters is going to go with the hockey line line change here. Braun, Graham, Ryder, Delmont, Towns, the new five in here for the for the Trojans. As uh, steal here by Ryder, but she's it's going to go out of bounds. She couldn't quite control it. She had the steal, but didn't didn't didn't. Uh, Keep it far enough away from that line, and, and it's going to be turned back over and stay here with the Huskies. Tough pass in there, caught by Spear. Dribbled off her foot to Baird. Baird's going to control, and everything's kind of a battle right now for the Huskies. Nothing's coming easy, and that's the pressure defense there by, by the Trojans. Baird in the corner working on Graham. Braxton gets away with a travel here over to Cox. Austin Cox pumps, goes all the way to the rim, and she will score the bucket right around Delmont, right around Graham, and she will score the hoop. Austin Cox with that one. As we're under 40 seconds to go in the third quarter, Logan looks like they're content with taking one shot here if they can get it inside. Looking for Graham. Delmont's going to take the shot. She had her toe on the line and only be a two. Controlled by Spear, and she's going to go the distance. She's going to go all the way to the rim. Delmont with a good defensive play, hustling back there. Kind of frustrated that she got the whistle, but probably pretty smart as, as Spear was going to get to the rim here without much of a problem. And Delmont with a big hustle play to save the easy bucket, makes Spear earn it from the free throw line. Jaden's first one miss. I, I got I to gotta repeat it. Ain't, you know, Ainsley Delmont, you know, she was caught back a long way. She had to hustle three-quarters court to get there. She was the only Trojan player were able to get there, and she did. Jaden Spear will get her second one to go as there's 20 seconds left to go here in the third quarter. As Coach Waters yells out one shot, Braun makes a great move. She's going to dribble all the way through on the baseline, all the way to the other corner, inside to Graham. Graham's going to turn, knocked away by Braxton Cox, over to Austin Cox with three, two, one. What do we got? I didn't see it. I didn't see it, but apparently she double dribbled as I looked over to her mother running the camera, and she said, yep, she double dribbled. I was looking down at the clock to see how much time was left. Austin was trying to get a shot off there before half. Gets called for the violation if she doesn't watch out. Logan's going to get a nice shot. Here's Sydney Ryder with the attempt. Just short if she'd have been a little stepped in there. It was right on line. Trust member FDIC equal housing lender. Back to play here in the fourth quarter. We'll start here. Logan Palco 39, Northern Valley 24 as we start the first quarter. And Braun with a quick bucket right there. Chloe Braun probably so far the player of the game for the Logan Palco Trojans makes Northern Valley pay once again. Turnover Cox is Delmont. Delmont's going to repay the favor and give the turnover right back. Uh, both, both freshman girls there. Uh, working turnovers for their respective teams as um, we get it in here to Andromeda Hauserman. Braun all over her right here with the dead ball situation. Turnover, great play, Sydney Ryder. She's going to go all the way to the hoop. She's going to come up short, and Braxton's going to have the rebound. Sid's upset with that when she's all over Braxton now trying to make up for it. Here's Austin Cox, and he, she's going to go – to the foul line is Chloe Braun. <laughs> Chloe Braun not happy about it, but she gets called with a foul there at half court. Um, really not very happy as, as the seniors uh, 
all the way back here talking to our coach, trying to figure out what happened there as Austin Cox will go to the line for two here. She does not get the the short roll on that one. She'll have to hit the second one if she wants to capitalize on that foul by Braun. I don't know if Northern Valley wants that. They don't want a uh, uh, Chloe Braun upset with her play right now because uh, right now she looks like she's ready to, to – to go after somebody and make somebody pay for that. But Cox misses the second one. They get the ball right here into Braun. Nice kick out to Towns. Towns to Ryder. Ryder wide open for the three. Going to be short, but she's going to follow it and go right to the rim, and she's going to go up for two points. She's going to go up. She's going to have a two-shot free throw as their foul's going to go against Austin Cox. Going to call her for the body foul on that one. First one up and in by Ryder. Ryder following that three-point attempt with her own offensive rebound, found a lane right to the bucket. She went right at it and tried to get it, and she's going to capitalize this one as she makes both free throws, makes Northern Valley pay for that. As a nice shot in there by Sydney Ryder. She's aggressively uh, attacking Vesteca. Turnover, Northern Valley. Braun in the corner, wide open left for a three. She's going to be just a little long. Austin Cox is going to come out of that re uh, with that rebound. She's going to ride at Delmont, ride at Braun, up and around. A lot of, lot of contact, no call. Here's Delmont. She's going to go the other direction. She's going to go up and in. That's the freshman Delmont right there for the for the score. Cox looking somewhere to go, tries to get it over to Baird. Baird was getting ready to cut inside. Cox throws it directly out of bounds. Substitutions in here for the Trojans. Uh, 14 is Kaylee Ulan. She's in here for the first time, I think, tonight. Um, Kenzie Wells and Madeline Towns. They're the three that came in here. They'll be matched with Mara Katz and Abigail Graham. Sorry there, I had a little thing in my throat as Abigail uh, Graham misses the, misses the uh, turnaround shot. Positioning in there by Andromeda Hauserman draws the foul from Mara Katz as she will turn and go to the line. Tenth foul on the Lady Trojans. She will shoot two. Second shot is up and also no good. Rebound in there by Eulen. Here's Wells. Guess I'm getting my sea legs underneath, underneath me here with my voice. Give me a little bit of shot. I still got a varsity boys game to go, and that one's going to be a fun one. You can tune in here at Open Spaces Live here just in a bit. That rebound is fought over and won by Baird as she and Katz were going right back at it just like the last time down the court. Here's Visteca matched by Towns over to Cox. Cox guarded by Eulen. Pumps goes around her. Pumps in, out to Vesteca. Vesteca, nice move with one dribble. Shots up, no good. Offensive rebound, Blecka. She's going to go up with the shot, and the fouls looks like it's going to go on Abigail Graham as Blecka's going to go to the line to shoot two. Hey, that'll work. That wonderful cameraman over there threw me a cough drop. We'll see if that'll help me uh, not sound so crackly on this anymore. Breck Blecka. Rattles in that free throw. She'll have another one coming. That's her third point on the night. I thought I told somebody to shut that door during the junior varsity boys game, but they must have left it open. 
as the wind affects that one and, and Blecka misses everything. On. Looks like I see one, two, um, three freshmen on the floor. Uh, make that four freshmen on the floor now for the, the Trojans as I see uh, Mercy's out there as well. She's a freshman as well. And here's Wells over to Towns. Towns in the corner to Mercy. Inside to Mara Katz. Great work by the Logan, Tro Logan Palco Trojans. They worked it around the top of the key. They knew what they wanted to do. They wanted to push it in to uh, Mara Katz, and that's exactly what happened. Austin Cox forces one and trying to go up and over Mara here is not going to work as Mara, Cox, or Mara Katz pins her defender on the backside as she's working hard down low again. They're going to try and get it to her and make it work. Here it is. Mercy in the Cats again. She's going to turn and score right up over, uh, over Baird. Mara Katz coming out here having a great second half for the Trojans as Vistek working on Towns. Cox all the way to the rim. No call again as the ball goes off. Coach Cox over there, I don't know if you could see the dance. That was nice if you were paying attention. She was trying to get Austin Cox to not, to not go away from the contact but go into the contact. Mara Katz takes a seat as uh, Evan Gashler comes in to the game for the Trojans. Ball will stay here with the Huskies. 417 remaining as the Huskies will inbound here with Visteca. Austin open on the side and air balls that one. But Visteca trying to fight for that rebound is going to be whistled for a push. She deserved it. And looks like Kenzie Wells is going to go shoot a one and one opportunity. Here's Kenzie Wells, the 5-5. Excuse me, I gave her too much credit. The 5-3 freshman goes to the line to see if she can get into the scoring column here tonight. She's got a one-on-one -on -one opportunity. Rattles in, out, and around, and but everything but down. As the attempt from Wells goes begging. Here's Hauserman to Braxton. Inside to Blecka. Blecka turns, fires. She's How did that one not go in? I don't know. Rebound, Wells. As she pushed, she's going to set the offense up to Towns. Towns just gets clubbed by Blecka. Blecka was trying to go for the steal, and uh, uh, Towns just happened to be in the way there. And uh, I think that's going to be it for Ray Rayleigh Blecka. Hard-fought hard fought game tonight as she will foul out tonight. Uh, Rayleigh Blecka, uh, she had three on the game unofficially there, and, and she's got a little frustration in her eyes as she sits down there and, you know, this game has not gone the way Northern Valley uh, would have guessed. Towns with a high arcing free throw nails it. Madeline Towns with a free throw up and in. And coming into this game, talking with both coaches, they both anticipated a tight game here tonight, but Logan's going to double up Northern Valley. Logan Palco is going to double up Northern Valley right now, 50-25. to 25. Rebound fought for, given to the Huskies on that. Ball went off of Mercy. As Logan's in a, matched up in a, in a kind of a zone press as Visteca beats it over to Spear. Towns jumps in it, but Visteca's going to get it back and shoot the little jumper and knock it down. Shaley Visteca into the scoring books with her first bucket of the night. Nice play there by Shaley. Ulan controls to, to Wells. Wells to Towns. Doesn't matter who's playing inside. The Logan... Logan, Tro Logan Palco Trojans are trying to force it in there, and that's what happened. But Jaden Spear in with the steal. She's going to go up for the layup. Leaves it just a little long. She's going to fight. She's going to fight for the rebound and win it. Over to Baird. Baird with one dribble to the baseline. And now they're going to swing it. Swing it over here to Braxton Cox with her finally her first opportunity of the night. She knew it was coming. She has been shut down a lot by the Trojans. Uh, probably one of the better shooters for Northern Valley. When she's open, she hasn't had too many opportunities to shoot the ball. This one goes begging for her. Uh, just a frustrating night all the way around for the Huskies. Nothing, when nothing's going right, nothing feels right, and those shots just are, gonna, are awfully difficult to go in the rim. 
Towns in the corner. Skip pass to Delmont. Delmont into inside, going to be blocked in there by Mary Baird and <laughs> controlled by Vesteca. Vesteca, nobody steps in front of her. She's going to keep going. She kicks to Braxton Cox over to Mary Baird. Mary Baird's going to try and go around Towns. Foul's going to be called as Towns couldn't quite get into position. Good to see her back on the floor as she gets knocked to the ground there. That's Mariam Towns. That's who took, tried to take out the wall earlier in the half. And as you can see by the tape on her arm and on her leg, um, she did a pretty good job there. Couldn't get her feet quite in position to not get the charge call there, but it was an iffy 1-1 either way as Mary Baird goes to the line and rattles this one in. Mary Baird been to the line quite a few times here tonight. Let me count them up. This is her 10th free throw attempt on the night. She's going to go four for ten on the night so far. Good save by Spear over to Baird again. Whitney with another offensive rebound. Kick out to Braxton. Inside to Spear. Nobody's guarding her. She leaves it long. Shaley Vesteca with the rebound, and she'll go to the line, and she will shoot two shots as, as uh, the, I know Coach Water is going to be a little upset there. As nobody's really boxing out there for the Trojans, and the Huskies are taking advantage of it. Here is uh, Vesteca. She will shoot two. Shot up and a little long for Shaley. The sophomore, Shaley Vesteca, 5'2 sophomore. Second attempt. Up. No good. But she controls the offensive rebound here. Swings to Braxton Cox. Good play by Towns. Towns is going to take it all the way. She's going to get an opportunity for a lap. She is fouled by Whitney, and she will go to the line. Good hustle play there by Madeline Towns. The 5'3 senior getting an opportunity here late in the game to make her impact, and she does. She took that the length of the floor and got that to the rim. She was fouled by Whitney. She will shoot two here. Her first one is up. Splash. Madeline Towns, uh, three for four, or yeah, two for three from the line, excuse me. I like her Christmas socks. Do you see those? She nails that one as well. Three for four on the night from the line from Mad uh, uh, Madeline Towns. <clears throat> it's got to do with those Christmas socks. It's great. Am I just now seeing that? I am as as uh, uh, ball controlled by Towns. Whistle's kind of getting swallowed up here late in the game. It's going to get ugly with a, uh, just under two here. I'm just now seeing that, you know, it's, it's a theme. I, I just saw their coaches, the Logan coaches with the uh, – Christmas sweaters on and, and and doing that. But all the girls are wearing Christmas socks. I just noticed Madeline Towns is because they happen to be green. It's something that they must have for a tradition there that uh, the game before Christmas that they're going to wear these socks. But uh, this ball is turned over into the corner, stolen out of there by Towns over to Delmont. Somebody's got to check Delmont. She's going to go to the rim, and she does. She goes up, and she scores. She probably should have got an and one on that one, but the officials have swallowed it up here right here. Um, that, that was a great play there by by uh, uh, Delmont, Ainsley Delmont, the freshman, the 5'5 freshman, just taking control over it. Here's Vesteca. Nobody's going to get in her way. She's going to go up and in for the score. Shayla Vesteca with her second bucket here uh, late in the game as uh, – we go under one minute to go in the game here. Here's Towns. Skip pass to Delmont. Delmont controls, getting knocked out of there by Spear. 43 remaining in the game. As Cox checks back in for Vesteca. Delmont dribbles it out front here over to Towns, to Delmont. Inside to, is tipped away by Spear, controlled by Braxton Cox. They were looking for Eva, Eva Gashler in there, um, trying to make a play on the inside. Logan does a good job of just pushing the ball inside, trying to make something happen. Here's Baird. Baird whipped out of there and stolen by her. 
Here's Delmont to control. 10 seconds left to go on this one. I think she'll just stand here at the top of the key and dribble it out as, as uh, Logan Palco, 54. Northern Valley, 30 on this Christmas sweater, Christmas sock night for the Lady Trojans. Nice play by them. Coach Waters, and, and he's got a couple of assistant coaches over there. They got to be real happy with the, uh, how this one's